Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. So, um, Mattel didn't tell me that this doll had been shipped. Well, he did, but when I checked the tracking number, it just said label created and nothing else. But today, my fang vote Rochelle showed up, so, um, yeah, that's fun. I didn't know she was coming because, again, it had just said label created and that was it. So I was like, oh, cool, they haven't actually shipped her yet, but, um, no, they did, and she's here. So, let's look at her. I kind of forgot I bought this doll for a while, not gonna lie. So here she is, and I'm sure you're wondering why is her box sticking out like that? It's because the lid is so difficult to get on that I didn't fully close it after taking pictures for my Instagram. So, um... For starters, this thing is really cool. It's meant to resemble an actual stained glass window. So like if you hold it up to a light source, you can see the light through it, you know, like an actual window. It's nice. I think that's a fun little thing to do. The exterior of her box is nice. It's got, um, these also act as windows on the sides. It's cool. These do not though. These things with her gargoyle ear symbol on them, those do not act as windows. Also, she has a scanner down here, but this doll's not going to be in stores, so this thing is only there for fun, I guess. So, of course, we've got her name, and then we have this stock photo, which had a bunch of lines drawn over it to make this sort of mosaic stained glass window look. She also comes with a Fang Vote poster, which is the exact same image, and on the back it says Fang Vote 2022. That's not right. The fang vote was in 2023. I'm so baffled by this saying 2022. Like, were we ever calling it the fang vote 2022? No, it was the 2023. This happened last year. This didn't happen two years ago. It's so weird that 2022 was two years ago. But this is just wrong. This is blatantly incorrect. Was it... Am I stupid? I don't- I don't know. Monster, I think- This says 2022 as well! What the- What the fuck?! Okay, my confusion aside, I really don't understand why they're trying to pretend that was from two years ago. Here is Rochelle herself. So, her box is pretty nice. It's made to look like a tower. And for that reason, I would have preferred the box to be rounded. But, I mean, I guess the shape of this does allow for easier storage, so I can't say I'm upset about it. She has the same window prints on the interior of her box as well, but obviously they are not transparent because there's no reason for them to be. And the bottom of the box is just stone. When we flip her around, we've got this stock photo of her, which is incomplete, missing the gloves. Love that, and has a better face overall. And we also have a better look at Scaris in the background, which to be honest, this is a really nice background. Like this is gorgeous and I would love a full version of this artwork to be released. And then we have her description. Rochelle Goyle. Bonjour. The moonlight soiree... Soiree? I don't know. Starts just after midnight atop the Ogre Dom Cathedral. Okay, that's kind of fun. And the spooktacular look you picked out for me is fantastic. Oh, it's Rochelle. Okay, I should be reading this um, in a French accent. When I received my invitation from Gerard. Okay, that's enough. When I received my invitation from Gerard, I knew I could not miss the, this event, and I needed the perfect look to dance under the stars. My sheer ruffle gown shimmers under the moonlight, and the ghouls will turn to stone when they see the wrought iron cage dress inspi inspired by the view of the Eiffel Terror. My heels reflect the beauty of the arched stained glass windows of the cathedral. And even Gerard had to admit, my outfit is très fabulé. Fabulé. Fabulous. Fa I'm dumb. I don't know why I said fabulous like that. It this isn't even a French spelling of it. It's a it's a monster pun. A little secret between us ghouls. I snuck up to the cathedral before the soiree started and watched the fading sunlight bathe the beautiful buildings just like old times, transfixed by the view. I knew my heart would always belong to my beloved Scaris. <laughs> Mattel creations, colors and decorations may vary. You don't say so in these photos, her, like, this lining isn't messed up at all. In these stock photos, everything is perfect. On the sleeves, though, there is a small bit of, like, damage, but it's not as visible 
as it ends up actually being on the doll. So here's my Rochelle, and here are her sleeves, and as you can see, the pink is definitely smeared in more than a few places, and the lines aren't the cleanest, but where this is definitely the worst is down here. This looks like a disaster compared to the stock photos in which this is pretty perfect. I get it. It says colors and decorations may vary so that they can skirt the responsibility. But I don't know, to some extent this pisses me off. Like yes, this is what her basic doll's clothing looks like. The lines printed on her shirt are messy, uneven. There's like gaps in them. And sure, you could argue that this is a reference to that. But it wasn't advertised that way. This was advertised as looking perfect. If they had advertised it kind of messed up, you know, I wouldn't be as annoyed with it. But as it stands, this just looks like damage. I understand that it's not, but it looks like it is. The stall has a lot of pieces. For instance, this huge cage piece inspired by the Eiffel Terror is removable. This part of her dress is removable. And she's actually wearing a long bodysuit underneath that goes all the way up to about here. I am pointing at her tit because that's where it ends. Her shoes are pretty cute. Again, I do still have the gripe of they could have had more paint detail on them, but as they stand, I do like these shoes and I'm glad that these ones won. Although, no, the pink ones were ugly. Also, her dress looks weird now because I messed it up to show you guys her shoes. Her hair is definitely messy out of box. This is saran though. like. This is Saran. I know what Saran feels like. It's just messy Saran. I'd say it's because it's kind of curly. Usually when you add like any kind of like curly or crimp texture to Saran, it can end up a little messy out of the box and need some cleaning. Just, um, I think giving her a boil wash would help if you want to unbox her, but most people who have unboxed her have just said to just leave her in the box because the hair is pretty bad. Um, mine's got the big gelled curl bangs and to be honest, I wish they were like a little more down, like if they were down to here naturally, but they kind of pop up and make her forehead look bigger. Regardless, I think I got a pretty good face on my Rochelle. Like she still looks like minor fisheye going on, but I'm okay with it. Like I'm just going to be leaving this doll in the box because I only bought the one, you know, and typically when I buy one of something, I don't want to unbox it. That's the reason my Pennywise sat in box for years and years, like two years, <laughs> until I got a second one and was able to unbox her. Please ignore my shelf of fully unboxed Comic Con dolls. But yeah, that's how I've been with the new Monster Eye collectors. The earrings and um, headpiece, headband that were chosen, I think look nice together. It kind of makes her headband look longer than it actually is with the earrings in place, but um, yeah. Also, this doll isn't nearly as yellow in person as some people's photos would lead you to believe. Like, here's my perfectly not glue-free, but still decent overall, even though her bangs are a fucking disaster. She's pretty gray, and so is she. Why don't you guys look the same shade of gray? I'll get that later. See, like, when I put them side by side... <laughs> There's gotta be a better way to do this. Yeah, they're like the same skin tone. Rochelle's face looks a lot different. Like, I don't know, she's got a very somber look going on here. And then here... She just kind of looks scared. I think it's that giant circle in her eye, like, it was never that big on her original release. Shrink that shit. But yeah, all in all, these two I don't think are as comparable as most dolls are to their basics. Some of the only things I really see in common are like, they both have black earrings, they both have black headbands, they both have eyes. Like, the lip shape is entirely different. Rochelle has very big lips. And they're a lot smaller on this doll. Which is weird, because this is definitely the same head sculpt. So how did her lips get smaller? They just kind of don't look very comparable. At all, so... <laughs> yeah. One positive I can say is that they definitely use the exact same shade of blue and pink between both dolls, which is 
nice and makes sense because it's saran they didn't change her hair type so yeah so all in all how do i feel about this doll i was one of the people who pre-ordered her when she was available during those three days back in april by the way making this doll available for only three days was low-key a dick move because kenoff ken was up for two weeks two weeks versus three days that is not fair but to be fair i think this was one of mattel's first made to order pre-orders they did so seems like they've bettered themselves since then based on ken having two weeks to be pre-ordered you know um yeah so as it stands she is not bad. She's not the devil like I was making her out to be a while ago. Yes, I can admit I hated this doll a lot. But having her in person, I don't despise her. I'm happy that Rochelle got a new release. Do I wish it was Rebecca a hundred times? Yes, but she's not so bad. I feel like a lot of my complaints do still stand though. I feel like they leaned way too heavily into blue for her outfit, which is not really what they ever did with Rochelle's style in G1. Like, she does have an occasional doll or two where she's wearing a lot of blue, but it's not what they usually did. Usually her outfits would be black and white with some pink thrown in, and then there would be maybe some blue. But most of the time, she did not wear this much blue. Looking for any Rochelle dolls I have that might prove my point, but I don't know where she is on my shelves. I got Haunted Rochelle over here. But that doll wears mostly blue, so she doesn't count. Here's Ghoul's Night Out, Rochelle. See, she's wearing mostly black and white with pink. Her main colors on this doll are black and pink, and she doesn't have that much blue. Ant's class, Rochelle is primarily wearing purple with a black and white skirt and black, white, and purple shoes. Basically, R Rochelle does wear blue, like she's got her Ghoul's Chat doll and her Haunted doll, where she wears a lot of blue. But those dolls don't have mermaid length dresses. Basically, I just feel like it's way too much blue, and this is just an unflattering shade. She usually gets a more pastel or a darker shade. She's never gotten this weirdly bright shade of blue before. I just also think the dress is ugly in general. This is just an ugly silhouette. Like, yes, it's fancy. It's probably French. I don't fucking know. But I'm just not crazy about it. But regardless, this doll has kind of gone up a lot in value already. I'm seeing her sell for around $200, which is crazy, so I am glad that I pre-ordered her, so in case I ever change my mind, I don't have to spend that much. But yeah, now I'm gonna seal her away forever into the closet of doom where she belongs, because that's where I fuck- no. Okay. Okay, I don't want this to get bent. So yeah, nice doll in theory, but I do still have my complaints. Regardless, she's cool, and if you weren't able to get her, just give it a while. I think the cheapest you guys might be able to get this doll is going to be around $150, which will most likely be the price she goes for as soon as the, oh, she's finally shipping out, hype dies down. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave your thoughts on Rochelle in the comments below. And as always, I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!